Lord, Lord, will inherit the kingdom of God. You may think you're a good person today, but Jesus said there are none righteous. No, not one. All of your kind acts mean nothing before God. Why? Because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Meaning that you are guilty before God. And there is a day coming when you will stand before Him and give an account. The Bible says we shall all give an account. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. What will happen to you on that day? Where do you stand before an almighty God? Have you been forgiven of your sins? Hallelujah. Has given his blood on his it is blood. only through Jesus Christ, the Almighty, that you can be saved. There is only one God, and his name is Jesus. Without Jesus, without the shedding of his blood, there is no remission of sins. Meaning, your sins cannot be forgiven. The Bible says that we are all we all owe a debt because we have sinned. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Because you have sinned, you owe death. And one day it will be payday. One day you will have to give up a death. One day you will die. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. And after this, the judgment. The wages will be required of you one day. One day you will have to pay. But if you look to Jesus Christ, He paid a death already. He already gave a death up. He gave a death on your behalf. His death on the cross was for you. It was to ransom you. Jesus didn't need to die. Jesus didn't sin. And he proved that by raising again. The death that Jesus died, he tasted death for all men. Meaning there is room for whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter the magnitude of your sins. It doesn't matter the multitude. If you are willing to turn, Jesus is willing to save. But you must repent. You must change your mind about your sinful life. You must be willing to look to Jesus Christ and follow Him. And if you would be converted, if your heart would be changed, Jesus said that you would be born again. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The importance of your heart being converted is paramount. You cannot enter the kingdom of God with your own sin-loving heart. The Bible tells us that no unclean thing will enter into God's kingdom. Therefore, he said, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Your wicked heart won't make it. Your wicked mind won't make it into God's kingdom. Your sin-loving heart has to stay outside of God's kingdom. And God's kingdom is coming. God's kingdom will take over. God's kingdom will inhabit this earth. And where will you be on that day? It's judgment for the wicked on that day. That's why you need mercy. That's not why you need His grace. Because judgment is coming. And without it, you will be damned. Without it, you will be condemned for all of eternity. But God gave His only begotten Son for you. So that you could live. So that you could have eternal life through Him. If you would turn and live, if you would believe upon His name, if you would trust the Savior, 
He has eternal life for you tonight. New life. No longer bow to the sin that you're in. No longer bow to drunkenness and fornication. No longer bow to homosexuality and perversion. But set free by the Savior. The Bible says, He who the Son makes free is free indeed. Watch your mouth, sinner. Out of the abundance of your filthy heart, your mouth speaking, you better repent. Jesus is going to judge you. You're not saved. You got booze and cigarettes in your hand. You're not saved. You're on your way to hell. Well, what about your cigarette? That's a vape. It's not a cigarette. It's still poison. What would you say if I told you I love pussy? I would say you're on your way to hell and God's going to judge you. That's what cool. I would say. I'll see you there, my man. You will not. You will not. I'm going to hell. God's going to judge you and you think it's a game. You think it's funny. God's going to judge you. You're on your way to hell for eternity. No, I'm good. You're on your you're on your way to hell. God's going to judge you. You're on your way to hell. Jesus Christ died to make a way, yet men will make a mockery of him. But be not deceived, God is not mocked. What a man sows, he shall also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you spend your whole life sowing to the flesh, sin upon sin, lie upon lie, drunk upon drugs, drink upon drink, then you will reap death. But if you would put down the sin, if you would turn from the sin, if you would turn to Jesus Christ, he said you would be so into the Spirit, and you would receive eternal life. It's the great exchange. Jesus Christ offers life for your death. He offers righteousness for your sin. Turn from sin and live. Jesus Christ chose a cruel, rugged cross on your behalf. What will you do with that? The Bible says as many as received Him, He gave the power to become sons of God. Today, I want you to know that you could be a child of God in an instant, in a moment, in a second, if you would repent and believe upon the Lord. Many believe that everybody is a child of God. Jesus called many children of the devil. And how do you know the difference? Those who walk in darkness are children of the devil. Those who love sin are children of the devil. Those who love drunkenness and fornication children of the devil how do you know you were born of God you love what he loves the Bible says to love the Lord is to hate evil let me ask you today do you hate what is evil do you hate what God calls evil the Bible says today is the day of salvation Many think that they'll wait till they're old to follow God. Many believe that they'll wait till they're elderly to follow after Jesus. But how many young lives get cut down soon? Faster than they ever thought. How many funerals have you been to that the person in the casket planned to be there? And that's how death could come upon you. Like that. Yes, sir. What's that? I don't know if there's a button or not. Sorry, you disturbed me. That's all right, you disturbed me. I thought you had a question. I'd like to talk to you. So today, we urge you get right with God, for you're not promised tomorrow. Many think they have tomorrow. The Bible says that life is but a paper. It's gone in an instant. So many believe they got so many more days ahead of them. But your heart could stop now. 
Your last breath could be now. Your eyes could close forever right now. Are you prepared to meet Jesus? Are you ready to see the Lord? Have you been washed in the blood of Jesus and forgiven of all your sins? Have you turned from all your wickedness? Have you been born again? Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Has your heart been converted? Or are you still doing drugs? You're still getting high. You're still drinking booze. You're still lusting after women. Hellfire. Jesus said, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. If your hand causes you to sin, chop it off and cast it from you. Why? He said, it's better to enter into the kingdom of God maimed and mutilated than your whole body to be cast into hell's fire. What was he saying? If we don't have a resolve with getting sin out of our life, it will be hell fire for us. Jesus made a way for you to be saved from that eternal torment. Jesus made a way for you to be saved from eternal condemnation. He chose a cross on your behalf. The death that you deserve, Jesus died for you. But we'll scoff at it. We'll cast the blood of the covenant underneath our feet like some unclean thing. The creator of heaven and earth manifests himself in your place. He took a cross for you, young man. Took a cross on your behalf to set you free, to deliver you from sin. What will you do with the Savior tonight? What will you do with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ tonight? Amen. Will you turn? Will you turn from your sin and live this evening? Will you receive the Savior? We only have one Savior. He doesn't live in the White House. We only have one Savior. And He's not in false religion. We only have one Savior. And He chose a cruel, rugged cross on your behalf. He chose a cross. He died your death. But He didn't stay in the grave. He rose again on the third day. And now he's sitting enthroned in heaven. And one day he's coming back. And he's going to judge the world. And the only ones that make it through that judgment will be those who believed upon the Lord. Those who were willing to turn. Those who were willing to embrace the Savior. The Bible says, kiss the Son, lest he be angry. Yes. Can you hear? Do you hear it? You hear it? Pass. Pass. You heard it. And God will execute judgment on all who reject. Today, I want you to know that if you can hear my voice, God is calling you. The Bible says that many are called. Each and every one of you are called by God. The Bible says many are called but few were chosen who are the few that are chosen those who choose to receive god's word the bible says those who hear you hear me those who reject you reject me many will reject what they're hearing tonight because it's an inconvenience to their sinful life it disturbs their life it gets in the way of their sin they're hearing that they must turn from the things that they love. Therefore, they wag their fingers. But I'm going to tell you that won't be an excuse on Judgment Day. You won't be able to say, that man yelled at me, so I said no. Because God knows your heart. God knows why you don't respond. God knows you love your sin. That's why you must repent. You're bound to it. You're fettered to it. You're locked into it. You can't stop sinning. But that's why we need Jesus. So He can set you free. So He can deliver you from the burden. So He can unlock that chain. So you don't have to sin against Him anymore. So He can change your heart. So you don't love that sin anymore. 
so that you could be repulsed by the sin that put him on the cross. But as long as you love that sin, you're an enemy of God. As many as love the world, as many as set themselves with friendship with the world, make themselves an enemy of God. That's what the Bible says. As many as walk according to the flesh, make themselves enemies of God. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. This isn't something I'm making up. This is God's Word. He said it. We're out here warning you. Turn from your sin and live tonight. Be reconciled to God through the Savior, Jesus Christ. You don't know how much time you have. God only sent one Savior, Jesus Christ. And He died for you so that you could have eternal life through Him. A little bit. Yeah. How you doing, young man? You alright? Praise the Lord. Arizona. We come out here from the East Coast to represent our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says that He is the way, the truth, and He is the light. No man can get to the Father but through Him. You have to go through Jesus Christ to make it into the kingdom of God. There is no if, and, or buts about it. The Bible says that I am the door. Jesus said, I am the door. And if any man enter in, shall be saved. We look at that politics. We look at the cares of this life. But we're not looking at Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. eternal life. He is the life and He is the resurrection. And He can resurrect your life. He can give you a new life. The Bible says that all things have passed away and everything becomes new. You become a new creature in Jesus Christ. He wants to have a personal relationship with each and every one of you. But the problem is, is you're walking in sin. You're walking into, in your iniquities. You're walking into the lust of your flesh instead of loving the Father. The Bible says, love not the world. These are the things that are in the world. If any man loves the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in them. We got to love Jesus Christ because he first loved us. Jesus Christ is your first love. He hung on the cross for your sin. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He died so you can live today. And that's the blood of Jesus Christ. That you have an opportunity to give up your life because he gave up his life. He gave up his life. So you can have life. But we live in a world right now where people say, I don't need Jesus. We just walk on by the pastors and the preachers. We just walk on by the word of God. But a day is coming. A day of judgment is coming. The Bible says no man know the day right. or the hour. Amen, that's right. But one day, He's going to come. The Bible says that he's coming as a thief in the night. Right. He's coming unannounced. He's coming unaware. But the question is, are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Because Jesus Christ is coming back. We live in a world right now where people are panicking. People are worrying. People are fearing because you have to, because of the virus. But let me, let, let me tell you something. The spiritual virus is sin. That's right. And sin destroys your soul. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Amen. That's right. All of us was born in sin 
And this is why we need to be born again. The Bible says we got to be born again. We got to be born of the water and of the Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit is what you need. Because the spirit that you have is an evil spirit. It's a wicked spirit. It's an unclean spirit. It's a spirit that sends you straight to hell. I was a fornicator. I was an alcoholic. I was a drug user. But I gave my life to Jesus Christ in 2005. And that is the best thing that ever happened to me. But I gave up my life because he gave his life to me. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. It's the blood of Jesus Christ is why you're still walking and talking and living. It's the blood of Jesus Christ is why you have another opportunity to give your life to Jesus. We didn't come out here for ourselves. We came out here for you. We came all the way out here for you. We traveled many miles to come to you, to tell you the good news. And the good news is the gospel. The good news is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the good news. It's the death the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the good news. It's the resurrection. And Jesus Christ never resurrected from the dead. You will not be here today. And Jesus Christ was never resurrected from the grave. There will be no hope for you today. It's by his resurrection proves that Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Jesus Christ is the almighty God. And we're living in a world that's full of distractions. Full of distractions. The devil is blinding your hearts and minds. It's a distraction. This is why you got to give your heart to Jesus Christ. He wants to have a personal relationship with each and every one of you. He say, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hears my voice, I will come in and I will sit with them and he with me. God bless you. Jesus Christ wants to have a relationship with each and every one of you. I know people who died in their sins. I know people who died in their sleep. Some people didn't wake up to see the next day. Amen. I know people that died like that. Tomorrow is promised to nobody. That's right. And that is a fact. Life is a vapor. It vanishes away. So why you have time here today is to give your life to Jesus Christ. Amen. By giving him your life. He said, come on to me. All the labor and heavy laden, and I I'll will give you, give you rest. Amen. I will give you rest. But you gotta come to him. You gotta come to Jesus. You gotta come to Jesus Christ. His hand is stretched out still. His hand is not short that he cannot save. And Jesus Christ wants to save your soul. Jesus Christ wants to save you from hell. Jesus Christ wants to save you from your sins. Because the sins separate you from God. That's right. It's your sins. Your sins separate you from God. Amen. And it's true what the Bible says. That the wages of sin is death. Is death. That's right. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. The gift of God is eternal life. And Jesus Christ wants to give you eternal life. He wants to give you everlasting life. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son and whosoever 
complete hell shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ wants to give you everlasting life. But you got to believe in him. You will never perish. The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. The world is perishing. Like Jesus, like give your life to Jesus Christ. He said he gave up his life so you can have life. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. Why are you still alive today? It's the blood of Jesus Christ. Why are you still have breath? Why are you still have God today? It's the blood of Jesus Christ. Is why you're still here today. This is the warning. This is the warning. The Bible says the Bible was promised to nobody. Don't think you're gonna live forever on earth. You're not gonna live forever. Amen. Life does not last long because of sin. And sin separates you from God. Take the friends, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Give your whole heart to Jesus Christ. Love him. Love him more than money. Love him more than your job. Love him more than anything else. The Bible says no greater love than a man that laid down his life for his friends. He laid down his life for you. There's no greater love. He is the greatest. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. The beginning and the end. Which is, which was, and which is to come. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus Christ. He loves you, sir. Give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Tomorrow's promise to nobody. Don't be a fool. Come to Jesus Christ. I love you. His hand is stretched out still. His hand is not short that he cannot save. And Jesus Christ wants to save you. Amen. It's your soul that's at stake. It's your soul that can burn in hell. You don't want your soul to burn in hell. You want your soul to be with Jesus. Take the friends, do not ignore this message. Because the real compassion, it will come back to you. A judgment day, it will come back to you. Amen. Judgment day is coming. Judgment is coming on America. We are living in the last day. The Bible says in the last day, perilous times shall come. In the last day, perilous times shall come. But we are in the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning to the end. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says those that adore to the end shall be saved. Adore in Jesus Christ all the way to the end. Because if you die in your sins, you will end up at a place called hell. You will end up at a place where there's wailing and gnashing of teeth. Do not ignore this message. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus. God bless you. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, that's pretty good for all of you. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I, I want to come back here tomorrow. Yeah, this is good I want to come back here tomorrow. Good I'm going to try a lot oh, of spots tomorrow. Yeah. Stay safe out there, my man. Bless you, brothers. Oh, boy, I got me on the video.
Not nah, now, nah, it's focused on me, it's on me. <laughs> you believe in Jesus, man? Come on, man, who else I'm gonna be? All right, man, God bless you, man. <laughs> All right, Saints, uh, my bullhorn, something's wrong with my bullhorn, that's why we're using our voices. Hey, young man. But um, uh, we're actually we're we're gonna, we're gonna come out here tomorrow, and we're gonna have some um, we're gonna get back into amplification. But um, God bless you. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for tuning in, brother. Brother Obed Victor, God bless you, brother. So we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna sign off. But uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. My my. Something's on my bullhorn, so I couldn't use my bullhorn. So I bless you and I love you, Jesus.